Good morning, Morgan Knoll here with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Today I'm bringing you another inventory item. This is going to be a Cimarron North Star 8 horse gooseneck um, and it is a 2020. This trailer is on a closeout right now, so significant savings to you. So if you've been having your eye on it, keeping your eye on it, now is the time to give me a call and let me know because you won't regret it at all. But we're gonna take a look at this trailer. Um, we'll go through everything on it. And if you guys have questions while we're going, please don't hesitate to ask. I wanted to show you right away, this trailer is on air ride. So triple axle air ride. So three 8,000 pound axles with your 19 and a half inch rims. So really big tires, ready to go down the road. They're gonna keep you solid, going good. Um, I've got it slightly aired up right now. Uh, so you can see the back end, it's getting lower as we go, but um, it is a little bit higher than it would be with that air dumped out. So I'm gonna dump that air so you can see how low that does get. Um, a really convenient factor is you can leave the air dumped out, load the horses, and then switch on that air ride so they're not coming at a, at a higher angle trying to get up that ramp in the back. So I'll come over under here and I'll show you guys where that air ride system is. So right here you've got your battery box battery cutoff switch and then your air ride system is right here so to dump all I've got to do is turn this knob and it's gonna start dumping and then it's it's still dumping because I had started dumping it before we started the video but um, it's gonna dump all that air completely out of there and then we'll see how low it gets by the end of the video um, but under here you got your dual hydraulic jacks they're each on a singular switch so you can level out the trailer if you need to. Um, those are right up here, so the key to it as well. You can pull that out and you're good to go. But your spare tire, um, just really nice setup, how everything's together under there. It's very clean and, and nice looking. So over here on the hip side, you've got your entrance to the dressing room. Um, so nice cute little dressing room right here. You can still hang got plenty of clothes bars to hang all your show shirts um, plenty of storage up here as well more bridle hooks for you and then you also have a boot box right here um, so that comes up plenty of storage in there too so a nice little dressing room for you able to get everything you need in and out So this is going to be the hay room. So you've got a hay room on this, um, plenty of storage in here, able to bring your hay with you, you're able to bring your grain. I mean, there's a lot of different options that you can do. So hay room, 42 inch door, so plenty of space to get bales in and out too. Um, that's going to be really nice when you're trying to, you know, lug bales in there, you're not having to squeeze through a smaller door. So over here on the hip side, you have drop downs on every other window to get your airflow going through, driving through, you know, Texas, Oklahoma, all those places during the summer. I know it gets hot and humid, so you're definitely gonna want to have as much airflow as possible going through these trailers. So got the drops on every other to allow that. And then you have the bus windows on each other one. So bus windows slide open, so you're able to get some more airflow going through. So you'll see the aluminum extrusion that comes up the side um, that goes all the way down the trailer. That's this extrusion right here. It goes all the way down. And then a nice other feature that Cimarron has added is these ember turn single, sing, signals. <laughs> um, they're gonna allow cars beside you to see if you turn your blinker on um, or just anyone, you know, make sure they know you've got your blinker on and that you're turning and they're not trying to cut between you and your turn and the next thing you know you're in an accident so as you can tell already these these fenders have dropped a little bit um, with that air ride being dumped out of there so a nice thing we do here exclusively at trans west is we put a dump at, or a dump switch on that rear axle so it dumps that dumps all the air shifts all your weight forward to the front two axles so you can turn on the tandem and you're not tearing up sidewalls as much um, just a really nice 
additional feature that we add on to these triple axle air rides and that way you are able to turn in a more secluded area, smaller area, parking lot, you know, everything like that. So nice to have, um, you end up having a little switch in your trail or in your truck and there's, I'll show you when we get up to the top on the other side, um, there's a little signal on the side where you can see it in the driver's seat and once you hit that switch that signal will come on and let you know that you dumped that air and that you're on two axles instead of three but we'll come back here into the rear so one big back door with a ramp that comes down we've got two stud stall dividers in this trailer so open them all up so this one does so you see how this sticks out that poses a hazard for me loading horses so they did this where you pull this up and then you're actually it's a little frozen right now so let's see if we can get it in. <laughs> a little cold out um but that actually slides in so we'll see if i can get it warmed up while we're looking at the rest of the trailer and we'll get it in um but yeah that pushes in so that way you're not having this hazard sticking out right there so Dividers all the way across, no pads on these right now. If you wanted to get pads on them, I mean, we could easily do it. Um, here in our service department, super, super easy for our guys to do. And they do a really good job too. So it's nice to, nice to know. But, so we're coming all the way up, it's an eight horse, so take me a minute. <laughs> but you got two stud stalls in the front. So both of these gonna be your, gonna have your stud stalls, um, your full length dividers so that you're able to, you know, put a naughty horse or a stud in there or whatnot and be able to haul them with the rest of the horses down the road. Um, you've got your feed bunks with the mangers underneath. So feed bunks on all eight stalls, mangers underneath. And these stalls are sitting at, oh, 36 inches wide. So that is this width right here. So 36 inches space for your horse. This trailer's sitting at eight wide, so you're not getting too crammed in here. Plenty of space for them to still move around going down the road. Um, you got everything, so you'll be, you'll be good to go. Uh, this trailer is sitting seven four tall, so extra height in here. Our standards are sitting at seven one, so you do get some extra height. And then I know I say this all the time, but I'm gonna say it again. These Cimarron latches are my favorite thing because they are just so easy to use. All they do is push in and then to get them out, you just pull. So you got a horse that's a little wiggly, doesn't want to move its butt over. All you got to do is, you know, shove it over. You're locked in and you're loaded. And then you do have a butt strap on the end here that once you get this last one closed, this comes across, gives you a little bit of safety for that last horse so that when you open that door, he's not gonna back out and start coming out until you untie. Um, so that's really nice to have. Still have plenty of space for those smaller horses to be able to turn them out, turn them around and walk them out. So it's gonna be nice to have. Each stall does have a roof vent as well that pushes forward, uh, suck air in, pushes back, suck air out. So get your airflow going through again, um, just plenty of airflow. And then you also have your OptiBright LED lights. And those, I think my battery pack might have died up front because I had these on earlier. But super bright lights, they're super nice to have. Um, they're gonna allow you to load in the dark and not feel like you're loading in the dark because those, those LEDs, they just brighten it up. You also have two LEDs on the back top. So those are gonna make it super bright on the back here to be able to load in the dark, unload in the dark, you can see. And then I don't know if you all noticed um, on this, back door you do have this big bus window slides open that way get all your windows open get that back window open and you got that airflow circulating all the way around for those horses so over here on the head side you've got drop downs on all eight stalls with your jail bars and these jail bars they do come down so all you gotta do is pop up you can pull these down you're going on a long road trip you can check on them from the outside instead of having to go in and take each horse off. So check on them, offer them water, make sure they still got feed going. So it's just really convenient, really easy access, ease of use. Um, it's just nice to have. So down below here, we do have mangers. So mangers all the way down this trailer underneath all the feed monks up above. 
So lots and lots of storage going on. Um, you've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five doors that you are able to access these mangers in. Um, they're just gonna, I mean, I'm telling you, when you start hauling, and I bet majority of people that would like this trailer are gonna be trainers. I know how much tack you guys have. I know you're gonna love this space. You're gonna love this amount that you have back here that you're able to use. Um, and then it's really nice. I like this big back door here because you are able to actually put a few buckets right back here. So you got that extra space. Um, and I don't know if you guys see that angle that it comes at right here. That is to allow you a little more space, allow you to get those buckets in there that majority of the time, if we kept that straight, you'd have a hard time fitting them. Um, so it's just gonna be really nice to have. Bus windows on all the drop downs as well. So if you're hauling in the winter and you just want a little bit of airflow, all you gotta do is, you know, open these just a little bit, get that going through instead of having to have the drop downs down. Um, so then we're coming to my favorite part over here the tack room. This tack room is loaded and it is ready for you to use. Look at all those saddle racks, look at all those blanket poles, plenty of bridle, bridle hooks and bridle space. I mean, you're sitting at, what is that, 12 saddle racks? I had to do some math there for a second, took me a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, plenty of blanket poles. I mean, this thing is loaded. If you need extra saddles, we can get you more saddle racks. Those are adjustable. We can go up and down with them. I mean, there's so many different options that you can do with this trailer that is going to make someone a very nice trailer to have. And especially on that closeout we're having right now, I mean, you're, you're not going to regret that getting this thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Cimarron's come eight year structural warranty, three year hitch to bumper, lots of warranty on them. Um, tires come with a no year one or no, wow, one year, no excuses. Uh, so that's going to be really nice to have. Um, this, this, I mean, this tack room is, it's just awesome. Lots of space in there and I can't get over it. I mean, I only have three saddles and I could imagine how many more I would have if I got this trailer <laughs> one day, one day, definitely. Um, and it's also super nice because, so these latch back, so these aren't gonna be blown in the wind while you're trying to get saddles in and out, load in and out. So they come across, oh, um, well this one goes first. So let's do this one first. But I wanted to show you guys, so this shuts, this one comes across and it's nice because you got this pad latch right there. So you can lock that up. Um, if you or your help got to go get an extra bridle or anything, they can get in there without you having to toss keys to each other and not having to lose keys and trying to get in there. It's just a pain. So those are going to be very, very handy on this trailer. So when I was talking about the air ride and that air dump earlier, that's that signal that I was telling you about. Um, that is that light that when you engage it, it will light up and let you know that that is engaged on this trailer. So again, this is a 2020 Cimarron North Star, eight horse gooseneck, all aluminum trailer, one of the strongest upright posts in the market. One of the strongest flooring on the market, you got four inch centers. So every four inches, you're gonna have a center. So I don't know if you guys have seen our other videos. We have a little cutout, I should have grabbed one. We have a cutout of the floor. No matter where your horse is standing, it's gonna be standing on a center unless they just have really tiny feet, but an hot size shoe, you put that on there and no matter where they're at, they're standing on support. So really nice to have. Um, Cimarron's also have a half inch thick insulated honeycomb fiberglass roof uh, that is dent and hail resistant up to about a golf ball size hail. And then it is also has an R3 thermal value on it. So it's more heat resistant to cracks and, um, or heat resistant, let me use my words, sorry. Um, it's more heat um, regulating, there you go. Okay, so it's gonna be warmer in the winter, cooler in the summer. So just really neat trailer, um, really nice trailer for Cimarron to have. So again, that's an eight horse, and this one is sitting at 36 feet on the floor. And that was eight wide, seven four tall. And then you also get that 53 inch drop coming down right here. So extra clearance for those taller truck beds, get it up there. 
But yeah, if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have on our lot, please call or text me at 303-684, well, that's my desk number. I don't know where my head's at this morning. <laughs> call or text me at my cell phone, 970-218-5996. Call my desk phone at 303-684-3451. Or you can email me at morgan, M-O-R-G-A-N dot Noll, K-N-O-L-L at transwest.com. Um, this is gonna be unit number 5N191299. But yeah, if you guys have questions on this trailer, any other trailers we have in our lot or coming in, please give me a call. Um, I look forward to hearing from you. I look forward to doing business and I hope you all have a great day.